Hey everybody, welcome to the May 10th, 2022 edition of the PW Torch Daily Newswire. I'm your host, Tyler Sage at Ring of Tyler. Appreciate you joining me today, as always. So let's get right into the news. Uh, so very WWE heavy today. Just came off a, uh, a pay-per-view on Sunday, WrestleMania Backlash, and a uh, eventful episode of Raw. Where viewership increased, not a new story, but just something. Um, so yeah, let's talk about Raw. So uh, Lacey Evans has moved from SmackDown to Raw. And, uh, you know, she was there when she had left um, after she got pregnant. And she's had her child and was in SmackDown for a brief period of time, had those vignettes, and now it's back to Raw. So I think more to bolster the division on Raw more than anything. And to uh, give a different baby face, because now Rhonda is the number one baby face on SmackDown, so as she always was. So um, I think a good new, good move for the show and for Lacey in that spot. Uh, we also um, have news on WWE not unifying the tag team titles. Dave Meltzer um, reported, <laughs> you know how that is, uh, that... Uh, the plan is no longer for them to unify the tag team titles um, going forward, which is seemed pretty obvious to me. It's it's barely a new story, in my opinion, because obviously um, changing the main event of WrestleMania Backlash from that to making a six man tag match with no with no um, meaning essentially uh, kind of illuminated that for me personally. But here's a confirmation, at least, or confirmation of speculation by Dave that that is. No longer happening. So, again, I've talked about this on many channels, but just uh, disappointing for me. I think that was a good way to, to make the tag titles more meaningful within WWE. But, you know, we'll see. Maybe in six weeks they'll change their mind and uh, they'll do it then So for, for a big show. Or it'll be, they'll both be on the pre-show or something. So we shall see. Um, switching to AEW just for a bit before, you know, we get to our main story that you saw in the title. But uh, Tony Khan was on Swerve Strickland's uh, podcast. He was talking about many things, but the most newsworthy thing was him talking about how he um, how he personally feels about Sammy Guevara and Ty Conti as a couple. It was happy for them and thought the crowd reaction would be the same. And obviously, he admitted that <laughs> it was not the reaction that he thought he, that they were going to get. So he uh, admitted to not being right about that, and they have pivoted them as a group so again not so much a story that's been obvious on on the presentation of the tv i guess the two bullet points there are just the difference between vince and tony that you know can write a thesis about i'm sure someone will um at least at this point and then also for me personally the the, the more interesting part of this is that you know sammy and ty are so much a microcosm uh, of what Cody and Brandy were within AW, and this just kind of shows the different types of relationships that Tony has with different people. And you know, I certainly don't think you'd be going on a podcast um, and talking about Cody and Brandy if they were under contract uh, the way that he did about Sammy and Ty here. I don't think that's bad on either direction. Just proves the hierarchy within AW and. Uh, once you get farther and farther away from Chris Jericho and, and the Bucks and Kenny, um, from being prominent people, um, kind of, I think Tony Khan's going to more run the company the way he is with with Sammy and people like that. Even if they're top guys, like there's not going to be as much of a chasm on on how he reacts and and kind of how he reacts with kid, kid gloves as opposed to just being like, yeah, I was wrong. We switched it. So interesting to see that. And we'll see if how that continues, but let's get to the main story. Roman Reigns is not on any um, promotional graphics for WWE TV or live events from the end of June through August. He, he is on two graphics at the start of September. Um, the only other things that he has been uh, advertised on visually are the uh, Money in the Bank pay-per-view and SummerSlam. So it would appear that he is taking some time away. I haven't seen any good reporting on it. could be just personal time because being on the road like that is, is rough and having 10 weeks off of TV minus two dates is kind of what 
every wrestler should get, in my opinion. But um, if it's not that, maybe it's a movie. You know, I'm sure we'll get more details there. But, um, you know, just signing the new deal, as I talked about on the weekend's edition of Newswire, that um, I think Roman's definitely still going to be around just for, for big events and um, might take some you know, a couple weeks off of TV here and there. So, you know, again, just look for people to micro analyze. I'm sure I'll do it here on uh, on those ratings for for SmackDown specifically for those 10 weeks. But I think it'll be a good case study for something. But it's, it's also the summer when ratings are always the lowest anyway. So, you know, it is what it is. So but um, an update on Roman, his new contract, kind of the new phase of his career, as he said. So, um, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. And uh, I mean, I think, again, like I said, I think most performers should get time off. <laughs> I think it's healthy. So hopefully WWE goes in that way. I think that would be fantastic. So that's all the news I have for you guys today. Thank you. As always, please like, subscribe, comment. Check out Zach's great interview with uh, Deanna Perrazzo. Um, he's also got very another exciting uh, interview coming up and then either tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, somewhere in that range. So I will not give you any hints, but it's a uh, another high profile individual, I would say. So I guess that's a hint. So I lied. So, but yeah, check out Zach's uh, interview and then he's got another one coming. So please check that out as well. I'll see you guys later.